The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Good afternoon. I am Patrick Cristiano for Spotlight on the Arts, and I am coming to you from LTV Studio in Wainscott. And I have a special guest today, my friend, the incomparable, the legendary Phoebe Leger. Phoebe. Hi, Patrick. Hey, Phoebe. Thank you so much for coming. I am so thrilled to have you on my show today. I can't tell you how excited I am. Oh, and I'm so honored to be here. I think this is the perfect expression of all your talents. You know, I feel that television is the highest art form. <laughs> well, Phoebe, you are the highest art form. <laughs> and and Phoebe, Phoebe's gonna, Phoebe is going to be at Stephen's Talk House on her birthday, July 4th at 8 p.m. Uh, at 161 Main Street in Amagansett. Now, we go back a long time. Yes, we do. I mean, I first discovered you at Stephen's Talk House, and I have been just a dedicated follower. You've and been so wonderful. You've been so supportive. And this is something that I admire so much about you. You're such a good friend Did to I say all Stephen's your Talk friends. House? Well, uh, did we actually meet at no, Bobby no, we, Vans? Bobby Vans, that's what I mean. Yes. So you did a rock concert at Stephen's Talk House. I, it was one of the best rock concerts I have ever seen in my life. Thank you very much. Yes, I had a very powerful band. I had most of Keith Richards' band, the, oh. his band, The Expensive Winos, was backing me up. And it was blues, and it was rootsy, and there was a very deep groove. And I was wearing a dress that had been bought for me by the great artist Larry Rivers. Oh, wow. The wonderful Hamptons artist that was so loved out here. He's no longer with us, but that dress will live forever on YouTube, where you can see me playing. It's that concert, I believe. I think you took the videotape, and I'm singing Nothing But a Hound Dog, <laughs> the great uh, Big Mama Thornton classic. Well, you did many numbers that night. I mean, we came home singing, Phoebe, Phoebe, oh, Phoebe. Oh, it was so wonderful. <laughs> yeah. But you used to hold court at Bobby's Vans as well. Uh, and I used to go there many uh, evening to, to watch you do your original songs it there. It was such an incredible time of life. You know, I was at Bobby Vans because I knew Terry Southern, who wrote Dr. Strangelove, Barbarella, Candy, Magic Christian, and I was looking for a place to work. And he said, Phoebe, you have to work at Bobby Vans because that's where Truman hangs out and George Plimpton. It was the watering hole of all the intellectuals. And so uh, Truman had passed away by Aww. the time I got there. But I was lucky enough to get that job. And I played live music at the piano for 10 years at Bobby Vans. Oh. Some people don't remember that there was a lot of live music in the Hamptons at that time. It, it was one of my favorite things to do back in that period. But, you know, catch, and, and you also burst on the scene with your Marilyn when you were just a teenager, That's which right. is still a cult classic on YouTube. I mean, people download that today. Oh, almost a million views on my original song, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn came to me in a dream, and she said, Phoebe, you're the one. I want to write my theme song. So that was a tribute, because you know I love beautiful women. And you're a beautiful woman yourself. Thank you very <laughs> much. But, but you also, b besides you have 12 CDs, which are available on Spotify or iTunes, and you have a new CD. I don't know, can we get a close-up of this? Is it possible to zoom in on this or not? There it is. And guess who took that photograph? Who? Susie Rakowski. Oh, my good friend Susie. She took that picture. She said, just put your head back and Can you see that? pretend I, you're a goddess. I, the, the new CD is called, it has 10 songs, and it's called Heart of Love. Yes. And I, I'm gonna, we're going to play one of them, okay? Oh, wonderful, well, yay. Yeah. So can, can we do one of her songs right now? Uh, it's, a, it's a video from Heart of Love, and it's a lead song called Heart of Love. We have it. 
I drive a big rig 18 wheel. It gives me time to think and it makes life ringer. I see the sky, the fields, and the river. With God's love, I deliver. I'm driving it home, sweet home to the heart of love. I used to work all day at a computer. Now I'm rolling through small towns and they couldn't be cuter. I'm bringing food to the girls and boys, driving through the heart of American joys. I'm riding home, sweet home to the heart of love. Yes, we're going to the heart of love tonight. Everything will be all right. You and I living in the heart of love. We don't have to be what anybody tells us to be. We'll find a home, sweet road to the heart of love. I see your great big little boy smile. Dancing like some of those country mile. In our sweet song is playing on the radio We'll find our own sweet road to the heart of love We go to the heart of love tonight Fire in the sky, you and I Living in the heart of love We don't have to be what anybody tells us to be We'll find our own sweet road to the heart of love you're my rock, you are my fountain, you're my big, strong country mountain. Come here, you great big American stud, oh, you make me feel so good when you hold me close in the heart of love. We're going to the heart of love tonight, everything will be all right, you and I. Your heart will tell you what is right. You and I, living in the heart of love. We don't have to be what anybody tells us to be. We'll find our own sweet road to the heart of love. We'll go to the heart of love. We'll build a fire in the sky. You and I, living in the heart of love. Ooh, we don't have to be what To the heart of love. Tell us about it, Matt. Find our home, sweet home to the heart of love. We'll find a home, sweet road to the heart of love. Phoebe Leggero's new CD, it's the lead song. It's just terrific, Phoebe. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. You know, and you're playing the accordion here, but you play seven instruments besides a fearless, fierce <laughs> piano that like nobody plays the piano like Phoebe Leggero. Thank you. What else do you play? Help Thank me you. out. Well, I play, I play the accordion. I play anything with a string or a keyboard. I played the cello for many, many years. And uh, I even invented an instrument called the Sneakers of Samothrace, which I invented for disabled children. It's a pair of sneakers that make music while kids dance. Yeah. It's for kids who uh, maybe have recent amputations or oh. recent accidents, and it's hard for them to take that difficult next step. So these shoes provide a, a musical groove that drives them on to take that next step. And, you know, I spent many years as a volunteer at the Rusk Institute for Disabled Children. So I learned the incredible courage uh, and valor of these marvelous children. And uh, so it led me to learn electronics and to work with sensors. I use the same kind of sensors that they use in smart bombs. So I use something from warfare to bring comfort and a kind of educational, inspiring healing to young children. Oh, that, 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 that's, that's really cool. That's really, you know, you, you know Phoebe Legere is a, is, a, is a Mensa 
not that she's at par the immense, but her, her, her IQ is so high that she could actually come up with this idea to help the children like that. But your CD, back to your CD, it's number 18 on the Roots chart. Yes, we're And it's we're number charting. one in Maine. Number one in Maine. Uh, yeah, it, it's really terrific. I mean, she's got 12 CDs, which I love all of them. And I, you know what I'm waiting for is the greatest hits of Phoebe Bajer. It's coming. I'm going to put out a greatest hits vinyl, which is going to have a photograph of me wearing the fur bikini, which was a, a, a wonderful costume that I designed. That's going to be hot. Yes. <laughs> so I, I just want to read some of these reviews. The New York Times compared you to Jerry Lee Lewis, Edith Piaf, and Marilyn Monroe. <sighs> Cafe, Celebrity Cafe said you have fearless, inspiring, artistic integrity. Wow. David Bowie called you a trailblazer. Now, now did you open for David Bowie? I opened da for David on his national tour, the Sound and Vision tour in the early 90s. And David was a very good friend. I knew him, I saw him two weeks before he died. He's a very, very, very smart, very beautiful, very inspired human being. Wow, that must have been amazing. Yes, he was. I mean, but I mean, to, to, to when you were such a young age to get to do something like that with David Bowie, I mean. I've been so blessed in my life, Patrick, and I know you have been too. Well, we're lucky, I guess. We're just, I was just plain born lucky. <laughs> so, uh, Besides writing music, composing, creating things for the children, you're also a playwright. And just recently at the Theater for the New City, your play Shakespeare and Elizabeth was done. Yes, it's true. I, I wrote a play answering the question, who really wrote the plays of Shakespeare? And after analyzing all of the candidates, it would have to be somebody with a vocabulary of 40,000 words, someone with a deep knowledge of the politics of the period, and somebody with a tremendous insight into the human animal. And I finally decided that the plays of Shakespeare must have been written by the woman who is said to be his greatest patron, Elizabeth I. So I thought, well, it's about time for me to play Elizabeth. So I wrote a comedy <laughs> called Shakespeare and Elizabeth about their relationship, and especially about her young lovers and the various intrigues of her court. Of course, she was bisexual, spoke seven languages, and had a ferocious intellect and a tremendous understanding of military strategy. Oh. She also worked closely with a man named Dr. D, who was a magician at the time. Well, it sounds like the perfect part for you. <laughs> it was a very great role. Yes, I loved it. But you were involved in one of my plays. You oh. were the director of my, one of my first musicals, which was called Hello, Mrs. President, about the first female president of color. That musical starred the great rock and roll of Hall of Fame singer, Laverne Baker, and I, of course, played the first partner. And your direction was marvelous. You helped me cast it, and you were so instrumental in that script. I hope you'll be involved in my next musical. I have the commission for 2018 at the Theater for the New City. It's going to be in the Johnson Theater. My new play, should I tell them the name? Yeah, go ahead, Schmata. It's called Schmata, Savage Inequalities in the Rag Trade. And it's about the textile and fashion business around the world and in America historically. But I, I think we should let them know that these are not just plays, they're musicals. So there is original songs and music that go with all of these stories. Right. Uh, so Elizabeth, Shakespeare and Elizabeth had music. Uh, Hello, yes. Mrs. President had music. Yes. And Schmatha is going to have new oh, original music. Oh, it's wonderful music. It opens with the push carts being pushed on the Lower East Side by the rag traders. Because in those days, the immigrants, mostly Jewish immigrants, who were running from the pogroms of Russia, Lithuania, and Poland, 
really could only work for themselves because if they worked in the factories, they would have had to work on the Sabbath. So these were very religious, deeply spiritual people. And the descendants of these rag tra traders now are people like Ralph Lauren, who has a m billion dollar fashion business. So it traces the American textile industry from those early beginnings, the rag traders with their push carts on the Lower East Side, which is where I live, and shows how that was built into a huge multinational corporate business. It's going to be fascinating, and it ends with a fashion show. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, who's going to do the costumes, you know? Well, of course, I will work closely, but I was hoping that Ralph Lauren would be a backer and do the costumes. Don't you think that sounds about right? Oh, that sounds fabulous. So, so, now, you, so you, have, you, you, nev you always have something going. It's like you, there's always something new, a new shoot that you've gone into. I mean, you just will, you will not be pigeonholed in any kind of way. You are just you are all over the place. So what we were talking about in, in, the, in, the, in the studio where you're part of love, there's artwork in the back. Are you just my painting? paintings are showing in the back. That's my studio. And all of those paintings are sold. And Every you, single one of them has been sold. But you, you just had a show in Connecticut. I had a one-woman show in Connecticut. And now, on June 4th, my paintings will be showing at the Rockland Pride Center. I, I'm going to be selling my paintings to support. I generally sell them to support various nonprofits, including Rockland Pride, where Rose, my friend Rosie O'Donnell has been so important in NIAC. Uh, I also sell my paintings to support my nonprofit, the Foundation for New American Art, which brings art and music to the children of low-income, vulnerable communities. Oh, wow. So uh, there was a time when my multidisciplinarity was not understood, but now the art world has embraced transdisciplinary artists like me. There was a time when people put me down, not remembering that Leonardo da Vinci practiced several art forms, Michelangelo and Picasso practiced several art forms. But now, of course, people used to try to discredit me because I was a woman. They would use anything to put me down and make me seem unimportant. But I think it's getting harder and harder for people to limit what I can do. I can't do less to make other people feel comfortable. I have to express my own personality, which is a 360 degree kind of a personality. I paint, I write music, I am a poet, and I write plays. And to me, they're all just aspects of one art form. And the art form is called life. I love it. <laughs> and I know you're the same way, Patrick. So, so, let's, so let's, see some, let's see some of your pictures. Oh, I'd yeah, love we, that. Yeah, we have some here that we can show. Yes? Can we, can we get them up on the... There we go. Here's one, Phoebe. I, you know, I love the colors. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at them. I mean, the, uh, just, just, yeah. This is called Amour. And uh, so I do a landscape. That's actually at Moosehead Lake, which is where I was conceived. Uh, this is uh, my imagining my parents, who were very much in love, getting ready to copulate and create Phoebe Leger. Uh, this is called Girlfriend, and this, uh, this will be shown at the Rockland Pride Center. It is already sold, actually, and you can see that there's a feather collaged onto it. That's one of the 1,000 feathers that I created for my shaman cycle, a 15-person rideable sculpture, which is one ton and an enormous uh, thing with a, which you can see on the in internet at shamancycle.com. And that, of course, is a beautiful girl, and everyone knows how much I love women. Here is... Georgia Capond at sunset. I love real estate. You know how I love real estate, especially unruined real estate in its natural form. 
These are two different aspects of sunset occurring at 10 minute interval. On the top you see it at 840 and then at 847 you see what's happened with the sunset. The entire world is beginning to melt and be suffused. It's enveloped in the divine illumination. So this is something that we can capture with painting. Here is, a, here is Blue Eagle. This is someone that is a good friend of mine, and he appeared as a dancer at the Shinnecock Powwow. What's interesting is that behind him you see a landscape of Laos Point, which is one of the most beautiful unspoiled landscapes in the Hamptons. And here, Spirit Eagle appears. This is, as you know, I am part Native American. I'm from the Abenaki tribe. And behind Spirit Eagle, you see the Mount Katahdin, which is our sacred mountain. You see that Eagle is about to devour a fish, and you can see the fish and the eagle locked into, in a very important dance between predator and prey. I notice this throughout life. You have alcoholics and alanonics. You have men and women, tops and bottoms, black and white, left and right, and we're all in a dance, the union of opposites. Behind Spirit Eagle, you see Corn Mother, the eyeball of Corn Mother, looking, because Corn Mother is one of the most important goddesses of the Abenaki religion. Corn Mother gave her body to the starving Abenaki and said, dismember me and plant the parts of my body, drag my body through the cornfield. And the tears of Corn Mother became the kernels of the corn cob and her body grew into the great corn that we see all over the Hamptons. And this one is too. Oh, the bears, you know I adore. This is called In Praise of Body Hair. And so this is two beautiful gay men, two bears, showing their love. And if you look up closely, of course, this is owned by the Leslie Lohman Museum. They, uh, the, this is the big gay museum. Mm -hmm. And they acquired this. On the side, I collaged Swarovski crystals with oh, wow. the bears. So you have the body hair and you have the jewels, such an important part of gay culture. And finally, I think this is the last one. This is me fly fishing. And I think you will recognize that I'm fly fishing off of Sag, Maine, in the what's called Sag Cut. And you see some of the most beautiful real estate there, Peter's Pond. You see that I just love, I love Hampton's real estate and only wish that I had bought more when it was still affordable. Terrific. Absolutely terrific. You like them? I think every one of them is so. But there's more. You can always go to my website, www.phoebeleger.com. There are many things that I can express in painting that I cannot express in music, and things that are completely incorporeal, intangible, that I can express in music that cannot be expressed in painting. But I'm always working between life and death, man and woman, spirit and the material world. This so, is the street that I walk. So, so what, what do you find, what, what's the most relaxing art form for you? My parents were both painters, so when I, when I paint, I must say it's done in silence. I don't have to worry about my costume. I can paint naked if I want. Uh, I do what's, I love to play a beautiful grand piano or paint. I feel very close to my parents when I paint. I feel very close to my grandparents when I play music. So those two, you know, I like to be alone, just practicing my art, art forms and communing with the divine. That's very relaxing for me. So it's a toss up between painting and piano playing. It's others. about the same, it's about the same. Yeah, I, 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 well you used to, when you held court at Bobby Vans, and, you know, in the 90s, and you accompany yourself on the piano with singing yes. your own original songs, and yes. it was, it was Well, terrific. when I have a small audience, and they're really with me, I feel, and I feel comfortable with those people, and they know me, then it's almost like I'm alone. When it's good, it's like you're alone. Performance is good when you're alone. <laughs> So I just want to remind everyone, I want, I, I don't, did I read any of these? Did Interview Magazine called you a genius? Oh. And often 
copied and never equaled. <laughs> and uh, Phoebe, you are never equaled. You are just a delight to always be around, to always see you performing. Oh, um, Patrick, you've been you know, such a good friend through the years. Well, we've done a few, had a few little giggles, haven't we, doing this or that? Oh, or we've <laughs> had such fun. And it's so wonderful to see you in television. I just adore television. Yeah, and I can't wait to see your concert uh, at... July 4th, my birthday. Um, Bobby Vans, 8 o'clock, 161 Main Street in Amagansett. Uh, is... I'm looking forward to seeing all of you there. Yeah, and, and this, your CD, I, I haven't stopped playing it. Uh, and it just, it grows on me the, the more I play it. Uh, it's a... It's a, oh, oh, can we zoom in on the, on the back cover? Because it's really terrific, too. I, can we, is it possible? There I am with my paintings and with my neon sign. And, uh, can you guys see that at home? There I am with my gold guitar, and I have quite a guitar collection. I'll be playing my Gibson 339 there at, at the Stevens Talk House. It's such a great, rootsy place. It's such a down-to-earth place. And everyone feels comfortable there. You can just let your hair down and dance and, and jump up and do whatever you want to do. You know, it's wonderful. So, so the most, most of the stuff you're going to be doing is from your new CD? I'll do the new, but you know, I always pepper it with great songs from uh, the past, like La Vie en Rose, which I'm so well known for. Uh, I always like to play a few of the great French classics. And Patrick, did you know that I have a new French record contract? No, no. Well, the American music business, sadly, has crashed and burned. But it's still alive and well in some other countries. So I was just given an enormous French record contract. Oh, a seven record contract. And I'm going to be going out to uh, Montreal to record uh, in June. I'll be, I'll be beginning. I'm going to be uh, produced by one of the most famous French producers, a great singer. And it's just so thrilling. We'll have to do a second show because I want I want to close off with 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 another. We're, we're going to close off. And you're crazy. Your rendition of crazy is one of my favorites. Oh, oh Patsy oh, Cline. Yeah, I love your rendition. Thank but you. I want to close with another. We're going to fade out. We're going to close off the show. Phoebe, you'll have to come back and we'll do this again. This is my song, Wrong Honky Tonk. Yes. My original composition. Yes. I was in the wrong honky tonk at the right time. Let's go to it. My heart was broken, but my truck still worked. I drove away in a cloud of dirt. I said, I won't let that jackass get me down. I drove to a bar on the wrong side of town where the whiskey flows like a river of gold. If you want to have fun, you must be bold. I walk through the swinging doors with no fear. Three cowboys looked up and said, What do we have here? I said, I'm ready. I'm willing. I'm drunk and I'm able. I'm strapped on my squeeze, but jump up on the table. A toast to the drunks you meet at honky tonks, where a girl can get whatever she wants. Dancing on the table. 